I've only had three questions in my entire life. What is the meaning of life? What the fuck am I doing with my life? Can you beat Fallout New Vegas with only a BB gun? Today we are answering number three. I started off my playthrough like any respectable Fallout New Vegas player by naming my character Tails as a lesbian and then proceeding to create a character that was too handsome for his own good. I decided to put points into luck in order to increase my chance of getting a critical hit, intelligence to get more skill points when leveling up, and I took points out of charisma because I don't want to be able to talk my way out of sticky situations. I also took points out of strength because BB guns only require one strength to use, and the rest of my points were evenly distributed. I decided to make guns one of my tag skills in order to increase my BB guns damage. I decided on repair because BB guns are rare so I need to make the ones I had last. I finally decided on sneak in order to get more sneak attack criticals, which I'll explain more about later. As for my traits, I chose Logan's loophole because the biggest consequence of this uh, trait is that you can't go over level 30, but there's no way in hell I'm reaching level 30 with a BB gun. And trigger discipline because BBs are rare in the early game and I need to make sure every shot counted. I also made sure to steal as much of Doc Mitchell's stuff as possible in order to make him learn the lesson that you should never ever help me. This also included his glasses and his hat, because fuck Doc Mitchell. I then walked out into the Mojave Wasteland for the first time. I picked up a BB gun with a dozen BBs in the house inside Good Springs. I then picked up a snow globe of basically no value and started throwing it around. I also spent some time searching for the stealth boy in the schoolhouse. I then started the tutorial and was very frightened when Sunny Smiles became one with her gun. Aware of the fact that Joe Cobb has another stealth boy, I attempted a pickpocket, but not before getting a long look at his thighs. I then started making my way to Prim, all the while getting my ass dangerously close to being eaten by a gecko. Using the stealth boys, I was able to make it through to the greater New Vegas area past Red Rock Canyon and the annoying Cazadors. I then witnessed the beauty of a fiend attempting to clutch a 1v5. It was glorious. I proceeded to make my way towards Field Shack because that shack contained the strongest BB gun in the game. Before I made it, however, I was harassed by a bunch of Brahmin. But once inside, I picked up the Albaline BB gun, a BB gun with the exact same stats as the normal one, but on a critical hit does 70 damage and has a slightly higher chance to crit than a normal BB gun. The reason why stealth is important is because performing a sneak attack critical guarantees a critical hit and is my most reliable way of performing lethal damage. I decided to test out my new toy on some drug addicts that happened to be near the shack. I managed to kill them both and felt very important. Remember kids, if you take drugs, I will find you. I then proceeded to cut the leg off of one of the drug addicts and try to give it to the Brahmin in order to make peace. My attempt did not work. I then encountered a rad scorpion who appeared to be immune to critical hits, all the while taking up way too much of my ammo. I bought some BBs from the gun runners in order to restock on ammunition. I then tried to fight some fiends, inspired by the 1v5 I witnessed earlier, but was soon reminded that I am a piece of shit that will never accomplish anything, and I failed. I then attempted to partake in some capitalism, but then found out that this trader would not sell me anything, so I sent him to the same place that people with an opinion in China go, aka the afterlife. After that I went to Aerotech in order to earn some experience. After finding out that there was a potential possibility that Keith had drugs, I took a lesson from the American police, I killed him and then later claimed it was an accident. After wandering around for a little bit, a hell spawn known as Malcolm Holmes began chasing me down and tried to contact me about my car's extended warranty. My first instinct was to murder him, but I decided not to do that. Instead, I decided to commit light manslaughter by leading him into a pack of dangerous fiends. I then took his hat. My next step was to get into the strip. So I began stalking some troopers, I then killed one of them, took their armor, and then committed identity theft. Using my 9000 IQ disguise, I managed to get a ride on the monorail from McCarran and then arrived at the strip. A soldier came dangerously close to threatening me with words, so I killed him. I then witnessed the beauty of Benny and the boys walking in perfect unison. After talking with Benny, I began gambling all of my life savings in blackjack. I made my way out of the casino after making a good amount of money and was confronted by a femboy with an ASMR side gig. After Wolpus informed me of Benny's new location, I began making my way to the fort. I ate the ass of someone I encountered along the way and witnessed a scorpion become one with the asphalt. I then tried to show some of the ants who's the real boss of the wasteland, but then realized I only had a BB gun. So I began to run away from everything while everything tried to kill me. I then encountered a woman, and of course the first thing I do is kill her for existing. I then tried mugging the other man who was shooting at her because you should always respect women, but my attempt did not work and he began chasing me down with a gun that was more powerful than a BB gun. I then encountered Oliver Swanick and attempted to kill him, but I failed and another person added me to their hit list. 
After a chase, I encountered the femboy, and now he had embraced his furry side. People then felt sad for me, and so only used their melee weapons to attack me. I then countered this by using my ugliness as an intimidation tactic, which worked. Traveling some more led me to Camp Searchlight. I lied and said I would help this man put his friends at peace in order to acquire some radiation supplies. I finally arrived at the fort and talked to Caesar, beat the shit out of a child after she wouldn't talk to me, made my way to the basement, found out the hard way that fighting a horde of robots and turrets with a BB gun is difficult. After that, I decided that I should probably crucify Benny. I began wandering around Camp McCarran, attempting to do the three card bounty quest for XP. I then died to the fiends again because as stated previously, I will never do anything of note, including killing fiends with a BB gun. I entered the New Vegas Medical Clinic in an attempt to get stim packs, but the doctors were scared of my existence. I then saw a woman who was exposing herself a little too much, so I tried to murder her, but turns out the consequence for disrespecting women is getting blown up by robots. I then bought some drugs in order to help me out along the way. Mr. House informed me that I needed to either befriend or assassinate the leaders of the boomers. I went out there with the intention of befriending them, because I have respect for people who blow up anyone that gets even remotely close to their comfort zone. The first thing I did after arriving in their home was attempt to deal drugs to their children. Apparently this loser was a goody two-shoes who didn't want my fucking drugs. <laughs> I then remembered that I used to kill people for taking drugs and realized I might have gone too far down on my quest for power. I also made sure to bully the rest of the children present in order to prepare them for the life ahead of them. Before I continued forward in my journey, I needed a hat to make my life easier. Novak was my next destination. I then helped Boone out by pickpocketing someone and then tricking them into getting their head exploded. Boone then rewarded me with a hat that gave me an extra 5% chance of performing a critical hit, which makes it by far the best hat to use with the Albaline BB gun. I began fighting the ants that were bothering the boomers, but sadly during the fight I ran out of BBs. So I went back to the strip and gambled for some money in order to buy more BBs. Then I started wandering around looking for BBs. I read on the wiki that there was a BB gun in Nipton, so I made my way there assuming there would be some BBs alongside it. I went inside each house searching for BBs. Then I stumbled upon what appeared to be a sex dungeon for scorpions and began to shit my pants as they escaped the dungeon. I went to the gun runners because by now they had restocked on BBs, but I wanted to ensure I always had an ample supply. I then remembered that the NCR quartermaster at Hoover Dam can carry a lot of BBs and started to befriend the NCR. I made my way to Camp McCarran to help them deal with a spy, got the monorail blown up. I then made a friend of the NCR, made my way to the quartermaster only to find out he didn't sell BBs. I left Hoover Dam in anger and frustration while also killing a trooper on the way out to send the message that you always sell me BBs. Making my way back to Nellis Air Force Base, I really couldn't be bothered to do anything, so I just killed Pearl and Loyal and then walked out of there. My sugar daddy house informed me that my next mission was to stop the Omertas from doing whatever they were doing. I went, I went there and encountered a big problem. I have no points in speech and can't talk my way out of confrontations, but I also had the only weapon I'm allowed to use confiscated at the door. I continued forward anyway. I thought about how Kachino kind of sounded like Casino, which I thought was funny. After talking to a few people, I found out about the weapons that were smuggled into the casino. I then used thermite to make the guns go boom boom. Next up, I needed to kill off the entire Brotherhood of Steel for our lord and savior, Mr. House. I decided that the best way to kill off everyone was to get a friend to let me in and then murdering everyone once inside a tactic I shall use to great effect when I kill everyone I share a Discord server with. After befriending Veronica, we made our way to Hidden Valley. I had to be careful because if Veronica helped me in any way, that would be against the rules, because then I would be using a companion and not the BB gun. Luckily, I was able to get to Hidden Valley without Veronica punching anyone, although she did decide to punch the air for some reason, which got me nervous. I used my high stealth level to sneak around, get everyone's key cards, and then initiate the self-destruct sequence, leading to everyone's death. After killing her entire family and everyone she had ever grown attached to, I talked to her, but she didn't want to talk to me, so I decided to kill her for being disrespectful. I got really scared after she was able to survive a sneak attack critical headshot, but still managed to win our very epic 1v1. After that, I returned to Mr. House to get my next objective, which was to protect President Kimball. Unfortunately for House, I wanted to see some funny screenshots I found on Reddit in the game, so the President was sadly going to have to die. I arrived at Hoover Dam, and after many attempts and failures, I was able to kill the President after taking some drugs. I then executed on my very carefully prepared escape plan after the assassination, a plan that involved me running away in a straight line on the only road that leads away from Hoover Dam. 
After that, Mr. House did not say the funny things I saw in the screenshot, which made me very disappointed. A group of NCR Rangers also decided to give me a very big finger wag. I was tempted to kill them for questioning my authority, but then I remembered I only have a BB gun. After a failed attempt at beating the game at Hoover Dam, I decided to I needed to grind for XP until I reached level 16 in order to get the finesse perk for an extra 5% critical hit chance. The comprehension perk, which would make magazines that boosted my crit chance even more effective, and better criticals, which would make every critical attack I land do 50% more damage. The first thing I did was began working for the Van Graphs. My first task given to me taught me the valuable lesson that waiting for an hour causes your body to merge with others temporarily. I then had to make my way to the Mojave outpost to lure Cass into her own death, but because I killed the president, everyone in the NCR hated me. So in reality, what happened was I just needed to tank a bunch of damage while focusing down rows of Sharon Cassidy. Eventually I got the kill and returned to the Van Graphs. I still wasn't level 16, and because both the Legion and NCR hated me, I didn't really feel like wandering around the Mojave, so I decided to make my way to Zion Canyon, where the first thing I did was begin massacring Utah's local wildlife. I then realized I probably was going to run out of BB if I killed everything, so I simply ran through the canyon, not paying attention to everyone. This strategy is very effective because it is very easy for people to ignore me. I talked to Joshua Graham, aka the Birdman, aka Bandage Girl from Super Meat Boy, and was given my quest, and then blah 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 blah, yo, who the fuck gave these tribals laser weapons, blah 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 blah, boom, Honest Hearts completed, and now I'm level 16 with all the perks I need to finally beat New Vegas. I returned to Good Springs one last time. I saw Victor had died on the inside, like me. I marched onto Hoover Dam, more powerful than ever. The cannibalism perk I got as a joke actually came in handy because it allowed me to refill my health after fights without using healing items so I could save those for the final boss fight. Finally, after what felt like forever, I encountered Legate Lenius and we began our fight. I died way too many times. But after pumping myself full of drugs and getting real lucky with critical hits, I was able to deal enough damage to take him out. And then after that, I encountered General Oliver, whom the Securitrons killed rather quickly, allowing me to finally beat Fallout New Vegas with only a BB gun.